DIY bow fender kit's just turned up. Let's unbox it. Must sharpen my knife. This is exciting. No instructions. So we've got eight 14 foot lengths of 10 mil. We've got seven 22 inch lengths of 12 mil. Seven 16 inch lengths of 12 mil. And seven 8 inch lengths of 12 mil. 36 inch length of chain and an 18 inch length of chain and two small shackles. Let's assemble this. Okay, so we've got our 36 inch length of chain and we've got our 18 inch length of chain. We've middled them and then just connected them one either side of the centre links. seven lengths of 22 mil and get a piece of baling's wine Okay, so we've laid out our 22 inch lengths of 12 mil. Centre of the chain. On on this one, it, it's six links on either end. And now uh, we just get a piece of bailing twine, pass it underneath, and just loosely tighten it. Because what we're going to want to be able to do here is, is move these around. <coughs> to get a nice and even round the chain. Just loosely. Get another piece of bathing twine. Do the same just after, just where, just past where you've um, joined the chains. That is, if you're making a four chain. If you're making a two chain, obviously you don't need to worry about the, four, the second lot of chains. Using the packer's hitch again.
working our way towards the end. We're just evenly uh, making sure the chain stays in the middle. Okay, so now we've got them closing, got them nice and even, and we just heave them up. And secure the packer's hitch with just a single hitch. Trim them off. So now we take the seven lengths 
of 16 inch. Lay those ones out evenly. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. Just tie a loose packer's hitch and then move these round so that they're even all the way round. Actually going to remove the tape off the ends of these. So now we've removed the tape off the end, we're going to take our pricker or podger and just flatten out the strands. Take another piece of bailing twine and where we've unlaid the, the yarns, 
I'm just going to add another lash in there and it gives us less of a step and we do exactly the same thing that end And finally, we take our seven lengths of eight inch 12 mil rope and do exactly the same. Again, loosely tie a packer's knot around the core and then just move the pieces into place one by one.
and then once again just going to unlay the ends So there we have the finished middle. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our 8 14 foot lengths of 10mm covering rope and we're going to middle it. Then we're going to do just like we did before. twine. Only difference this time is we're going to go round the middle twice. So we get our core. Just loosely tie a packer's knot again. So that we can move the strands around 
nice and evenly. Now this needs to be tight. And secure with a half hitch. start covering. Okay, so we've got our eight strands all evenly spaced around the centre of our middle and to cover it we're going to do the crowning technique again. So. Pick a strand, doesn't matter which strand, go over the one next to it, take the next strand, that one goes over that one, over, 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 just get the chain out of the way. over and through. And then pull up. It's a bit more complicated to pull up because we've got quite a quite a large middle and a lot of strands. But keep working it nice and tight. And nice and even. do the same. Now I'm not going to bore you to death with doing this bit because we've all, if you followed my previous videos, you'll know how to, you'll know how to crown.
Now I've got the chain in this bit, all we do, do exactly the same thing over and just incorporate the chain in with the crown in. Pull it all up nice and tight again. Okay, now we're get, getting to the second step down, and what's happening is 
the crowns are beginning to bunch up because obviously we're tightening against something that is reducing. So all we do here is we lose a couple of the strands. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do it on this round. I'll do the next round and then we'll drop those out. Okay, so we take a strand, doesn't matter which one really, and just put it out of the way. And then we take the opposite strand and put that one out of the way. And now basically, we, we do exactly the same thing of crowning except we just miss out these two strands so over 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 and these strands just go straight through the middle up uh, you know, next to, they lay next to the core um, on tightening now it will be down to you to decide when you're going to drop these strands and when you do drop them, it is important that you pull these up tight. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get our scissors and we're just going to trim these ones off same, and leave them at the same level as the, uh, as the, ones, in the, uh, uh, the, the as, as the ones in the core. Uh, and carry on.
and as we're doing a side fender where we go past the uh, neck of the you know the bulk of the um, middle the same thing applies to this you know what we do is we go past the uh, middle that we've made by a couple uh, by a couple and that just makes it easier for finishing you know the finishing is exactly the same as a side fender also um, I mean there are other techniques and other ways of finishing these um, which I will cover in another video um, alternative finishes to crowning um, but for the sake of this video you know we're just going to do the same thing as we did with the side fender it's just a simple it's quick and it's simple so I've just come to the top I'm going to go over again even up nice and tight and we're you know we're ready for the for the uh, you know ready for the finishing which again I won't go through because you know all it is is we go through the middle and out through the uh, through the next row as exactly as you do on a side fender and to finish this fender So we just turn the fender up the other way and all we do is we cut off that lashing don't panic nothing's going to happen and we just carry on crowning as before I mean the thing to do here is just tighten this up before you go on to the next row of crowns And there we go. So we just carry that on exactly the same as you would, just exactly the same as we've done that way, and finish just like again, just like you would a side fender. And um, what you'll end up with is a bow fender like this. Um, and you know you can always finish it with a Turk's head in the middle, give it, a, give it, a, you know, which is like a sacrificial point. So you know it doesn't damage the fender. All, all that happens is. You wear away the Turk set, throw that away and put another, uh, cut that off and retie another Turk set. Um, now this particular one makes, this particular way that I've made this one, basically makes a two foot long 
um, fender and it's probably about four and a half five inches across you know plus the Turk said um, to make variations on this fender it, it's pretty it's pretty straightforward you know if you want to make it slightly bigger use 12 mil covering rope or you know pack your uh, make your middle bigger the important thing about the middle is, is making it taper nicely um, and to cover it it's pretty straightforward you know lengthwise for two foot in 10 mil you're looking at about 14 foot of rope if I was covering it in 12 mil it'd probably be about 10 foot of rope um, you know the one the one downside to to crowning is it's very difficult to add rope in I mean it can be done but it, it's it, 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 it's a pain adding rope in you know it's best to overestimate the rope than it is to underestimate it um, and you know it can only be done by trial and error really uh, I'm sure there are methods of, of exactly working it out um, but it would you know it all depends really on the diameter of your core and the length of your core uh, but you know 14 foot you know it easily covers uh, 2 foot in 10 mil like I say if it was 12 mil I was using I'd, I'd only use about 10 foot of rope um, it, on, on each of these and you know with the bigger the core all you want to do is make it, the, the way to work out how many strands you need is lay it round and what you want is it, it just nice and even all the way round in a way that you can comfortably pull it up um, and so making variations on this it, 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 it's very straightforward um, I'd like to thank all of my subscribers you know brilliant we've hit a thousand now that's that's amazing I'd like to thank my patrons um, and the, the, the problem I'm going to have now is the next video is not going to be too difficult because you know we're going to do those long um, hanging fenders but then after that we're going to sort of start stepping up to hitching uh, making buttons and and so on and now those videos are going to take time and this is this is one of the problems I'm, I'm thinking you know I don't want to bore you to death with um, with doing these in real time I don't think I mean you know if you can put your opinions down in the or, or your ideas down in the um, down in uh, the comments section I'd be appreciated because I don't really know how, how really how to how, how, how to do this next step of moving on I mean I can quite happily sit here and record myself making buttons and tip cats and everything else but it's it's how much do you actually need to know um, so give us your suggestions uh, I'd appreciate it and, I, and please do bear in mind that I do you know film these myself I am here working and making these myself and so and then of course I have to edit them myself and it, it, it all takes a lot of time but it'd be nice to know if you want me to keep these videos short like this one for instance where you know I've only made half of it because you know most of the technique is in another is in another one of my uh, videos um, maybe I should do the buttons and or or the hitched fenders in stages you know show you how to start the hitching then show you how we do the and, and then do another video of of the hitching uh, process and then the reducing or what you should be looking for you know I don't really know which way to go on this so your suggestions would be uh, much appreciated uh, thanks for watching and see you next time